Four Snagars dying. It is a man stabbed through the belly, its guts now hanging from his hands, bleeding onto the ice, dead, even though the realization has not yet set upon him. The Hungering Legion, a horde of savage and brutish clansmen, once thought long since passed into myth and legend, have risen from the far lands of the north. In the year of darkness, the Hungering Legion arrived and fell upon the forest Nagar, laying siege to the inhabitants of the castle. The Hungering Legion arrived in the midst of nightfall and fell upon the carved city, an area once known as the Cerulean Gem of the Northern Seas. The city of grinding ice left in ruin. The Legion intended to come for one reason to consume the still living heart of the oracle that lies deep within the icy walls according to legend. The oracle possesses an unearthly power, the ability of foresight, granting him the unnatural knowledge of things far beyond the mortal realm. Granting the skills of the oracle true cognition, divination, and omniscience, it is the goal of the hungering legion to enact an ancient and accursed ritual that bypasses all natural law of the mortal realm. To consume the still beating heart of the Oracle would bypass his blessing onto the leader of the Legion, granting him an ability that would have him and his forces unmatched to anyone upon the mainland. However, the hungering Legion would not be denied. They approach Force Nagar with the patience and calculating eyes of a butcher considering and fallen his elk's carcass. Executing the siege of the city with a near mechanical precision, their onslaught had been in equal parts brutal and discipline and feral savagery. The streets ran red with crimson blood, such as each quarter of the city was slowly overrun by relentless and determined savage foes. Those unable to escape or die in combat face a fate worse than death. The men of the Hogwarts Legion wore an act to kill by right passage of their people and to consume the warriors of Forest Nagar, being able to absorb their knowledge and skills of the fallen warriors. As the living are larded on within the Legion as prisoners, set to become cattle, to be eaten and consumed and to pass on their knowledge to the Legion. Why, no doubt many lives were lost during the siege. I in fact feel grateful that those men fell a quick death, for it is those unfortunate souls that now find themselves alive, kept within the Legion's prison, that I now they will find no peaceful end. No one is quite certain of the Legion's provocations, why they choose now of all times, after eons in hiding, to come out. These Hiberian warriors dedicated to gaining the power of their fallen enemies through the consumption of both body and soul. Ravenous cannibals intent on scouring the world to add to their stew pot. These warriors know. These beast-like men, able to put down such a savage fortress with mere rusted implements now pose a much more deadly threat, with fine armor and equipment at their side. The Hungering Legion leaves a swath of bloody destruction and cracked bleached bones in their wake. There is no need for diplomacy or for arrangements with these savages. Now the only need is a way to be able to halt their wrath and to prevent these savages from ever reaching the mainland as even now countless men are being pulled from their families and armed as the forces of the lords have begun to muster in order to be able to stop these hordish monsters of the chance that they do intend to bypass their carnage onto the mainland. Though that still relieves us with quite the predicament of the oracle, as it stands their forces are quite formidable. But if the Hungering Legion does add the power of the Oracle to its mass, I'm afraid there will be little chance of the mainland ever having a chance of stopping them. After all, what hope can there be in a defense 
if your enemy can already realize of what strategy will lead them victorious. That is why we find our heroes now deep within the walls of Tribor, a once forceful city now brought to ruin by several stages of decay and unfortunate happenings. From here our heroes will be tasked with the journey of traveling to the hellish-like stake of Forest Nagar to recover the Oracle within the deep lower chambers. There remains what little forces survived the savages attacked, locked and barricaded themselves within the deepest regions of the fortress, surviving off the mere luck that they are not found hiding within the deep crevice of the crypt. It is tragic irony that they will need to hide amongst the dead in order to be able to prevent from joining them. The heroes will travel there and hope to be able to cover the oracle before time is too late, before the oracle finds himself as a centerpiece at the table of the leader of the Hungering Legion. <laughs>